So, after uh, some time, uh, I soldered the, the wires to the panel on the back side. And uh, this is the construction. Made some uh, woofers to test in uh, stereo for once because I only had one of these uh, open baffle woofers. So, um, there's the other one now. It had a slight dent in the dust cap, something fell on it. Too bad there. But hell. So, uh, yeah, I made two of these panels and uh, I thought, well, Let's do the final uh, video. I mean, cosmetics, uh, you have to decide for yourself how you want to make it look nice. This is just, uh, well, the panel and it, you can figure out some sort of crossover, etc. And then uh, make a nice speaker and maybe tweak some. Uh, but I'll show you uh, what I did for testing it. So... So if we are on the back side, uh, I soldered these uh, the tweeter wires. Oop. Focus? No, no, I'm not gonna focus. The tweeter wires to um, to these PCB material, which I just st stick on with some uh, double sided tape. Uh, same goes for uh, the base wires. Uh, there's a cap hanging here because I wanted to show you I'm gonna remove it uh, What happens if you just use the panel as is you have to filter it to make it uh, usable There's small magnets uh, trying to tune the membrane and uh, spread the resonance a little bit It does something but not not very much. I think in lower frequency it does more but this panel doesn't reach that low so but I'll show you what uh, what it looks like when you... Uh, oh yeah, these pieces of tape, it's a Tron error uh, thingy. There's still a slight peak in the 15k department. And if you tape off a little bit, it uh, drops this peak without destroying everything. So um, don't have a sort of this is how you do it way yet. This was just a... a yeah, I tried it. Uh, up. So, I'll put you back here. And uh, maybe lower you. Okay, so first we're gonna measure the panel as, uh, as is. So, um, I draw a perfectly fine perfectly fine uh, planar here. This is uh, the mid-range part and this is the tweeter part. So we're gonna connect the two terminals of the mid-range directly to the amplifier and uh, see what it does. My drawing skills are, I must, I must say, insane. Well, look, there we have the panel. It reaches to 7K. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit. Oh, it's, it's readable, I think. There's not much light here. Change the color a little bit. That's better. Um, so it reaches to 7k, the mid-range panel, and it has this uh, rise, as you can see. I'll smooth it out so it's um, easier to see. Plop. Um, might go back, by the way. Well, you, because you can see it better like this. Here's the resonance of the panel. It's at uh, 140. And then it drops like a brick, as usual. Um, and this is the rise we're gonna have to counter. And it's quite a lot, so... This is how it looks smoothed. Well, um, what I'll do first is uh, I'm gonna put in line 
um, a coil and do I really have to change from um, <laughs> light all the time um, so actually we're gonna add a coil just in series with it so and then we put on the positive and the negative this one okay what will happen it will uh, create a, a first order passive low pass filter and in this case the only uh, size I had um, of coil something like this but uh, bigger I uh, was uh, three milli Henry I think it was and uh, what it does it creates a, a passive filter which will counter the rise in frequency three milli Henry might be a little bit too much so it starts a little bit too low uh, you can see it in the measurement I'll take so let's add it and see what it does cold very cold okay so this is uh, without anything now we're gonna measure it with only the coil in series well you can see it dropped a lot and um, if I smooth it out yeah you can see I drop here as well a few dB and this is sort of this is resonance frequency this is the lowest frequency I, I am able to reproduce with this panel so I kind of wasted this this efficiency and it's around well it is almost 4 dB so that's uh, kind of a waste uh, it's the coil has a resistance so there it will be a little bit lower because it's in series but this is a pretty beefy coil so uh, it's not gonna lose 4 dB of output so essentially the coil that I choose is a little bit <coughs> too high in value so it starts rolling off a little bit too early it should do it a little bit later um, you can calculate this I didn't do it because uh, I didn't have much flavors of coils here so I use this one and uh, I might calculate one as well because we know it has to drop around here around 200 or 300 Hertz uh, and we know the resistance is 4 ohms so we can um, use a calculator to uh, see what kind of coil we actually need so I wasted some of the uh, efficiency here. Too bad, I'll uh, fix it when I get some new coils or wind my own, if possible. Um, but in the end, uh, it's not, this is not like really a nice way of crossing to the tweeter yet. So what I'll do, I'll add a cap and create a second order crossover and this cap is just gonna be like here and it's gonna be what kind of value did I use I think it was a 47 uh, micro farad um, oh actually I'm not gonna do it there this this that would be weird by the way I'm gonna add it here there Pooh, I almost uh, failed insanely um, so whoop. I'm gonna do that and uh, measure again that looks uh, better in making a crossover here this is a pretty uh, nice straight 
curve. As you can see. And again we lost a little bit of output but it's like almost nothing. But this difference I am gonna fix in the near future because a few extra dBs is okay with me. So now we got a way of uh, crossing over to the tweeter here. And I'll um, measure the tweeter now. Just the tweeter. And see what it does. By the way, it's gonna be connected directly to the amp first, and then I'll add a crossover component. Okay, okay. So we're gonna measure the tweeter and see what happens. So that's the tweeter. And uh, I see that the measuring mic is exactly in fr front of the panel, a little bit to the left, which creates this weird thing. You should be measuring a little bit um, on one side of the tweeter. But uh, this is the result. And as you can see, it drops at around 1K. And it's a little bit louder than the, the filtered um, mid-range. So we're gonna get this down a little bit. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna, first of all, we're gonna add a crossover part and it's gonna be uh, a cap and its value is 22 microfarad. And then we're gonna add a resistor, uh, which in fact, and it's gonna be 2.2 ohms for now because uh, I don't have many resistors apparently. I'm just gonna add the this to the positive to the negative. Uh, if it's in phase with the mid range, it depends kind of uh, how the magnets uh, went in. So can I tell you this right now? If this is really the negative, could be the other way around, but doesn't matter. You will notice. Um, you will notice definitely because you're gonna lose out on something. See what happens with the magnet band, by the way. What they did is kind of funny because the cap here is the same cap they used there. So, what they did is actually use use this cap of the of the first low pass and then they just added the yeah like this oh like this and i didn't need this shit it's funny um yeah well that's cheaper but <laughs> Uh, it also uh, means that I uh, used uh, 47 microfarad for the tweeter, which is for this tweeter is a too high value. It will be crossed too low. So in this case, it doesn't work. But it's funny to note that they, uh, well, they uh, didn't need to buy an extra cap, which is uh, good, of course, if you want to make money. So, you can see it's a little bit lower in output, which is uh, because of the resistor. And you can also see it drops a little bit earlier, although not much. Um, although not much, I say, well, it does. I will line it up, see if it did in fact dropped earlier yeah so it starts here already or already it starts here to drop and it's also uh, to protect the tweeter from uh, all the low frequencies because uh, the tweeter will uh, fry if you uh, abuse it 
So this is uh, where we end up with, sort of. And uh, well, just add them both, see what happens. Not too much moving. So that's the combined output. So it's, um, that's doable, I think. Um, yeah. That's it for this panel. I might tweak some stuff. I might change change some of the components out and um, maybe lower the output of the tweeter section a little bit more because uh, it's nice to have the spacious sound, but um, yeah, too much is too much. Okay, that's uh, it kind of. I will do some uh, music uh, thing uh, later on in a separate video. Yeah, I um, thought I explained why you have to measure from a little bit further away, but I might as well show you, it's probably a better idea. Um, this is a remeasurement of the straight curve, so the one that was AQ, but then you can see what happens. Ta-da! Well, as you can see, <laughs> green is measured from uh, one and a half meter away, and red is measured up close. Uh, well, yeah, because it has a rise in frequency, we kind of countered that with uh, the filtering. And now, if you measure up close with the filtering in place, you will end up with this. This, loads of high, uh, low end, way too much. Normally unfiltered, if you would listen very close to the speaker, it would be a straight line. But if you move away, the low end will be gone. You will notice this with headphones as well. If you uh, have a headphone on your head, you got loads of low end. And if you put them off and only take a few centimeters away, then it will drop. Um, well, yeah, so uh, don't measure these panels up close because you will get screwed results which look really nice. Although this doesn't look nice because we kind of countered it with filtering. So now it's the other way around. Uh, a rise in low end. Uh, but just try not to measure it up close unless you want to know something about some weird peak or so. If you want to know if this peak is from the transducer itself or Maybe it's the room, or maybe it's more of the um, baffle uh, diffraction or whatever. Then you, uh, well, you can see if, if you measure it very closely and you have still this problem, then it's probably not diffraction. And it is likely the driver itself somehow. Okay, so, uh, well, that's about it. I'll uh, see you soon.